going to be stronger in CBG. Alex is a bud tender at Exotics in Hollywood, a cannabis shop offering a plethora of popular products. People have been coming in more for CBD related products. There's a possibility even more people will be coming to buy CBD products following a study out of Oregon State University suggesting cannabis compounds can help prevent the virus that causes COVID-19. The study is sparking reaction. Some people believe in vaccines, some people believe in other options. In my opinion, I just think that uh, if people want to try it, go for it. So now Joshi is a cannabis user and agrees. Honestly, um, I think we're all just sick of being inside and having to wear masks. So if it makes anything 1% better, then for sure, let's do it. The study was published in the Journal of Nature Products. Researchers say during the study, two compounds, CBG and CBD, commonly found in hemp, bound to the spike proteins found on the virus and blocked them from infecting people. But the cannabis has to be in edible form, not smoked or vaped. The study is considered promising by some, and it's not the first time Alex has heard about a study like this in the shop. Some people do kind of say often, they're like, oh, I've heard sativa weed helps prevent COVID. But is the Oregon study valid? Dr. Nathan Newman from Santa Monica Urgent Care weighs in. I wouldn't go out and buy a bunch of edibles right now in the hopes that you're going to prevent a COVID infection. While the study is interesting, it's in vitro only, and Newman says more human studies are needed to verify. I don't know of any studies that have analyzed the cannabis users and incidents of uh, COVID-19 infections. I would imagine that there's really no difference in, in those people from everybody else. Newman says vaccinations, masks, and some vitamins are the best preventative methods for COVID-19. And though cannabis does have many reported medical benefits, he says the jury is still out on coronavirus protection. Experimenting with cannabis, uh, that's, that's on you. If you feel like that's something that you need to do, a go ahead within whatever legal means you've got. But remember, it's not a studied drug that has shown any benefit at this point in preventing a COVID-19 infection.